Open Tiles rule is mostly used when two terms have conflicting, seem to have a conflicting limiting behavior. Uh, the same is the case for the following limit, where 1 plus 1 over x tends to 1, and x tends in the exponent tends to infinity. We may solve this problem by first taking the log of d1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Yeah, so calculate the limit of x to infinity of the ln of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Now why are we doing this? Well, now we can take the exponent down, so we get the limit of x to infinity of x times the log of 1 plus 1 over x. And this limit is one of type 0 times infinity. But we've seen before how to reduce a 0 times infinity kind or type of limit to an infinity above infinity, L'Hopital case. Yeah, so x times the logarithm, uh, the ln of 1 plus 1 over x is the same as ln of 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x. Yeah, so the 0 case, if we divide by 1 over a 0, then we get an infinity case. Yeah, so this is the case infinity above infinity, according to L'Hopital. Now we solve this problem using L'Hopital, by taking the derivative, so the derivative of ln 1 plus 1 over x equals 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over x times the derivative of 1 over x, which equals minus 1 over x squared, and uh, 1 over x, the derivative, equals minus 1 over x squared. So the, both terms appear on both sides, so we may get rid of them, and we end up with the limit 1. So what happens? What did we do? Well, the limit of x to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x is the same as taking the limit for x to infinity of e to the power ln of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Yes, since the exponential function and the natural logarithm are inverse functions. Now we use continuity. When the exponent goes to 1, then the exponential function is a continuous function, so we may as well write the limit in the exponent. So we get e to the power, the limit of x to infinity, of the natural logarithm 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. But we just, we've just shown that this limit e equals 1, so this equals e. Well, this is actually a quite classic result, and in many textbooks, uh, this is taken as a definition of e. So the classic approach is to define the number e as a limit, and the limit is just the limit of x to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. Here we'll discuss an example in which we will see how to apply L'Hopital's rule in the case of 0 to the power 0, where there's a function f x to 0 goes to 0 to the power some function g of x, which goes to 0. Well, the example is where fx equals g of x equals x. So we study for the limit of x to 0 plus of x to the power x. x to the power x is well defined for all x is larger than 0. Well, what we do is we take the logarithm and the exponential function. So we make the same composition of functions that we did before. The reason why we do this is that now we may take the expo exponent down, which is the hard term. So we get a limit of x to 0 plus of e to the power x ln x. But also, we've seen before that the limit of x to 0 plus of x ln x equals 0. Yeah, that was also a result of L'Hopital. So we may write this, so the limit of x ln x for x to 0 plus exists. So using continuity of the exponential function, we get e to the power a limit x to 0 plus x ln x, which equals e to the power 0, which equals 1. Well, this is usually also the reason why you find in standard textbooks that uh, 0 to the power 0 is written as 1. It's just another convention 